Scientists warn even with the commitment of the Paris Accord, we may not be able to stall climate change. So I asked the mayor, what can San Francisco really do? We are well on our way to 100% renewable energy by 2030. We're committed to that. We launched our Clean Power SF program with over 100,000 customers already enro enrolled in the program. And I'm excited about, you know, just really getting to a place where we can produce zero waste mm -hmm. and coming up with creative solutions like green bonds, which helps with our infrastructure. We have the technology to do amazing things and we should use it. And just because someone says that it's not possible doesn't mean that we don't roll up our sleeves and do everything we can to try. This is a low-lying city. What's the plan to fight the rising seas? And so right now, I'm glad you asked that, we actually have a initiative on the ballot for our seawall. Mm -hmm. Our seawall, which is really protecting us from sea level rise. We have, is an over billion dollar project. We have a bond on the ballot where we're raising money so that people can understand that the things that we don't see are sometimes more important than the things that we do. This is the difference between protecting us when a big earthquake comes or anything else for that nature. So we are uh, moving forward to provide protections to our seawall. Were you disappointed in the president's decision, the stance and pulling out of Paris? Uh, everyone, I think, uh, <laughs> Um, who cares about the future of our planet had to be disappointed. Um, but what that has done is inspired people from all over the world to come together for this global climate action summit to not just talk about what we want to do, but to actually put words into deeds and get things done. What's the strategy for accelerating the use of electric cars in the city? So we have basically provided additional stations for charging stations here in San Francisco. The new purchase of all of our vehicles are going to be clean energy vehicles. Um, we put forth legislation a couple of years ago uh, to make that commitment because there are options uh, out there that we can use to get to a 100% clean fleet here in San Francisco for all of our city vehicles, including our dump trucks, our uh, police vehicles, all of those things were headed in the right direction. Where is the city on the testing of self-driving cars? So the testing of self-driving cars is a little complicated. Um, we are trying to work with the industry on uh, responsible practices. What we are most concerned about is safety. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that you know people don't get hurt. And so we're working with this industry to provide safe testing and regulations that are appropriate to keep people safe. San Francisco just passed some surprisingly strict regulations on scooters, choosing two companies to, to give permits to. Is that just the way it is, or do you think these regulations could loosen in the future to allow other companies to participate? I think what happened when the scooters just start showing up all over the sidewalks in San Francisco a couple months ago, people were like, well, what do we do with this? Um, and so now, you know, really trying to see whether or not uh, this can be something that can work in San Francisco. I mean, frankly, I'm excited about the scooters, especially when you wear dresses. You can just hop on a scooter and go from one block to the next. But we also, again, safety is a number one option. People riding on sidewalks, narrow sidewalks where people are walking, that's really a problem. So I think our goal is to make sure that people are using them safely, that we test this to see how it works. But I think this could be a great addition to San Francisco. There are some other policies that some in the tech community might view as tech unfriendly. The gross receipts tax, the proposed ban on office ca cafeterias. Are you taking on big business? I think part of what I believe as mayor is that big business definitely has to pay their fair share in helping you know San Francisco with all the challenges that exist but I think there's a fine line between helping and being responsible and just overburdening the business community with things that drive them away I want to make sure that our strong economy continues in San Francisco so I want to make sure that we have balance and fair regulations and that definitely will take time do you think the tech community <laughs> needs to do more when it comes to the homelessness situation when it comes to being a good city citizen, if you will. So I think that we need more, of course. But the flip side of that is the people that we have who sadly are homeless on our streets are struggling with drug addiction and mental illness. We have gotten people into our navigation centers, which are 24-hour shelters that helps people into permanent supportive housing. And they have not always stayed in that housing. 
they would get in there one day, be gone the next, and it is a continuing to be a challenge. It's why I'm pushing for some reforms to our mental health conservatorship system. It's also why I'm pushing for safe injection sites, things that are innovative that are going to hopefully get us to a better place. It's not going to completely solve the problem because we know people are struggling, but we have to do more and we have to do something different.